All right, so we are missing five people because uh, the UI has broken and these people can't get in. So uh, very, very strange. But uh, hopefully we don't get dropped out and hopefully this race continues on. But very weird to see five people missing from there and Jarek and a bunch of other people in Discord say that iRacing is down for them. So, um, yeah, it's if you get logged out, I think. So there's uh, something with the sign-in or something like that. But that is unfortunate for Lewandowski and Corey. They are going to take a big hit. Won't be too big of a deal for the bottom three. But we did not qualify well at all. Tenth place out of 16. So, uh, going to, going to be taking my time. Hopefully this setup works. I had to throw a bunch at it just to get it off the ground. Underdrove the qualifying a little bit and put myself in a bad spot. But I feel like we got a few people out of place and that could create havoc, which could allow, um, allow for free positions, probably get some yellows. But we'll see. It's gonna gonna take a little bit of luck to miss anything that happens in front of us because Dover gets quickly jammed up. And it's very easy to overdrive and end up in the wall. So I'm just waiting to grid here just in case these people can join. That way it takes longer and they can get in, but looks like they are not going to be able to. Very unfortunate, so let's go ahead and grid up because they're not going to be able to get into the server in 10 seconds. Starting on the outside, which I'm fine with. It's a little bit loose initially. Then it goes super tight. Keep it clean. But DNS I've got the way jacker starting off at 10 just to pass tech. And uh try my best to avoid anything dumb. A lot of names that we don't normally see. And a lot of names that we know from Discord, so kind of a half and half race here. But we'll try not to be terrible at Dover, which is a very, very big ask. About to go green, stay focused. So slow rolling start here at 45. Time to do your job. I'm just giving myself space ahead. Not that anyone can miss a shift, but different gearing can cause jam ups. We got the nine car that was trying to look three wide immediately. Now oh, that's Brett. Don't need to be worried about that then. We're clear behind. Let's get it wound up. Get the tires heated up. 80 laps, so it's a very long one. I'm going to just do my best to not have little moments like the 11 Justin just had up there. He was on that high side, got a little bit of a push in each one of those little moments out of the corner. Can cause issues just as Scott just had. Sorry Chad, we're going to... Uh, 
no, we're not. I was going to take advantage of it, but then he got quick there. Scott might have given himself damage if he hit the wall. Clicks on Wade Jacker already. Fast laps right now, I'm not worried about. We got someone already down on the apron. Are they coming out of the pits or did they get loose off the corner from the front? Look and see if we got a lap car up there. Nope, that was the leader. Chad getting a little loose under Scott, trying to hold it down off the corner. Right now, you just got to be patient. Burn the tires up. You can't really burn the tires wear-wise, but you can overheat them and get really tight from it. Picking up though. We've pulled away from the people behind us. Got a little too low there. Really struggled to get the car to turn out of the corner. It's getting tighter and tighter and tighter on me, but slightly loose through the exit, so I think I just need to run a little higher and turn down lift off when I get the big shoves like that. And you can turn left harder, but all it's going to do is create more and more heat. Justin falling off here. Looks like he's going really tight. Hopefully, if he's using my set, he knows to use the weight jacker. If you're stuck on 10, it's gonna it's gonna be painful. We will get lap traffic with as long as this race is and as big a spread as there are between the leaders and last place. Man, we got to go two more clicks on Wade Jacker. Got a different car, the 16 behind us. He's made some moves and caught up quickly. You can full throttle it, but there's no need to right now. Leaders aren't really getting that far away. I'd like to pass Scott, but right now we haven't had the right setup for it. Might get him here though as he gets a big shove. Dive it in here. Hopefully not slide up too much. Oh boy. Alright. A little loose around the bottom, keeping it down tight. Going in that deep. Scared myself. Nearly ran out of talent. Just felt like I had to make that. Otherwise, we'd be just sitting behind him. Um, the 16 car has really dropped off, so he must have grabbed the wall or something.
Oh my god, it's getting so tight. I don't know how to counter it. Run the high side. I just gotta lift off at the correct time. And we've got big contact up ahead. The yellow flag is out. Line up single file. And that is a bit of the break that we needed, but I think it got uh the hell did it get? Brett. Did it get Brett? Yeah, it got Brett. So, we're into six now. Pit road's open. It's one of those, uh, one of those warning signs when someone is very low I rating and qualifies that well. Probably gonna be driving over their head. They had already lost it from the lead, it looked like. I didn't see what caused the wreck. It might have just been prediction code from across the world, but... I'm just going to assume, and we'll see after the race. It gives us a little break, gets the tires cooled down, brings us back up to the front. And leading, we've got Dakota and Sean up front. And I've done what I needed to do, although I was almost in that wreck. That car bounced off the wall just slightly earlier. I don't know if I would have been able to get down. But we've don't have any damage. I don't even know what way jacker I'm on. I'm only on six right now, so that's good news. I think I'm just going to kind of do what I did at Pocono. Stick with this and then get really aggressive near the end. Hope everyone else goes too aggressive and gets loose near the end. But we made it a quarter, quarter of the way in. Yeah, the UI login is down. Speed road is closed. Oh, Brett broke a wheel. Not sure if that was because of the wreck. He didn't say anything about it being someone else's fault. Maybe he broke a wheel and caught the other guy. But we get a nice little reset that also keeps lap traffic. Less of a possibility. We're down to 13 cars on the lead lap. Because we missed five from the start and we've had a few grab the wall. Then two in that wreck. Chad having weird little blinks. He doesn't normally blink that much. Hopefully the servers don't go down, because that would suck. I feel like I've done what I've needed to do. Let's see if we can get a top three. One to go, next time by. 20.706 Although my car number's four since Lewandowski's not in here we're actually needing to get third to uh, finish where we're supposed to with the people that actually got to start the race and we should really only finish behind the two but we know Dakota's quick and we know Sean's quick 
So, and we know Chad's quick. But this is kind of one of the, like, this isn't Chad's normal combo. He's more of a short track guy, so I was surprised to see him sign up. But happy to see us get 20 people ready to race, get ready. even Going if they green. couldn't all get in. The pace car is in. It's such a lag from your reaction to when you start going. That's why you gotta watch up ahead. Alright, so colder tires now on a lower weight jacker. Just gotta be aware of that. Chad, you just threw your side pod at me. That is why iRacing took away the ability to run into parts and tires and stuff that comes off of cars and wrecks. Because sometimes people blink out and my computer said, hey, he hit his side pod really hard and threw it off in my face. bit loose there. Justin has gotten up ahead of Scott, as has John. Very surprised Scott has fallen off as much as he did. He's looking very quick for pace on a single lap. But now we wait. Start looking for signs of people getting tight. The two and the eight, I don't really know them. So I don't know their racing styles. I don't know their tendencies. Looks like the eight's getting tight through the center. It's kind of getting that push that I was getting when you're trying to run the low line. Now John making up some ground behind us now. down too low too soon. Started getting the push. Looks like these guys are both figuring out the cut down. Get you off the corner a little easier. I don't know what it does to your tires on uh, corner entry, but oh, you just hit the apron a bit. tight there. Not a good sign. Keep rolling. Ooh, that's a really bad sign. I just heard us bottom out. That happening already. Bad news. Just a one little scrape, but if that starts to happen every time, we're going to lose a lot. Battle for the lead. Hopefully they're able to keep it clean. They should. But Sean's had some bad luck. That's backing them up. Although I'm losing ground, but... 
sort of on purpose, sort of not. I'm just not pushing it right now. Not pushing it, not adjusting the weight jacker. We're almost to halfway, and then I think we'll start picking up the pace. And then we have a lap car coming up. A little bit more scraping, I think, I heard. decides to drive down off the corner and nearly wreck us there. Alright, let's go a couple more clicks on the weight jacker, see if we can pick up anything here. Turned into a kite for a second. Yeah, I got nothing. These guys are checking out in their single file. The yellow flag is oh, out. we got a yellow. Single file. Pit road is closed right now. Catch up six car. I don't know what to do. In the race. I think I'm going to start bottoming out too much. Because I think the weight jacker is bringing the right side down a bit. And uh, that is going to cause more sounds of bottoming. like Scott and maybe Max were involved. But another 20 lap run. Car 15, got the lucky dog, let them past on the outside. The hell did I just see up ahead? That was a weird... I don't know. I had to get up way too early this morning, so my brain is not operating at full force. Yeah, I don't believe... I'm going to move up into even the top five. Just do not have it. I may even just start adjusting the weight tracker the other way if the scraping gets too bad and see if that counteracts it and we actually pick up speed. But just have to slow down in the center to avoid the tight. So, we, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I can do other than hope that everyone goes closed. Pit road is closed. really tight or really loose or what is, okay, that's twice now that there's been a green little man standing in 
the top of turn one. I'm not losing my mind. I don't know what that is. There used to be a bug where part of the suspension was floating in the air at Phoenix for this car. It was just out of uh, Old Phoenix Turn 4. It would float up in the air. Weirdest bug that we had for a long time, but I've never seen whatever's going on in Turn 1. But it looks like the cone is like doubled and squared up on the high side into turn one. Let's take a look and see if it's there this time. Alright, it's out there. It's out by the wall. You can see it right past the red sign on the outside wall. It's like a green cone. One left to green. 20.36. What are you? I don't know what that is. It's a different color green. Has it been there this whole race and I just haven't noticed it? I feel like it only started under this yellow. Very weird blame that bug on why I'm so slow right now. Alright, so everyone's going to be a little more aggressive on this start, trying to time it. Get ready, going green. Ice car is off. Be ready. Oh, we were a little late. Green, green, green. Got everyone ahead of us. Got a better start. Yeah, cone's still out there or whatever it is. 've probably been there this whole race oh my god right side is bottoming out bad Need those tire pressures to build up again I don't even think that's gonna help me. Well, hopefully everyone else on this setup isn't having the issues. Nate just grabbed the wall. And Sean just got sideways. Alright, we about wiped out Chad. Had to lock him up hard. Well, that puts me in fourth, but we didn't get there by uh, speed. We know Sean is faster, as is Chad, so... I don't know if I'm pushing this thing too far over the limit on looseness. Let's go last lap. Find where the pace is. 
Well, it's in the three car, is where it is. Speed. Uh, hello, tightness. Hello, wall. Shit. Colors fine. No damage to report. Twenty-two point eight two eight. We are very lucky if that's true. Colors fine. No damage to report. Starting to really struggle with it popping to the right off the corner. I'm gonna try taking the weight jacker back to positive. We'll just have to be slower in the middle of the corner, but hopefully that'll pay off by me not wrecking. And we're letting Sean by no matter what, because He's just blazing fast compared to us, and who knows what can happen if he goes up and catches the eight, who has been fighting tight. Well, I was expecting him to get the run soon, but going back positive a bit has helped. Except for there. Yeah. I'm just overdriving it right now. Well, we're due for another yellow. Getting them every 20. 22.887. Hitting the right front on landing now, or the right rear, one of the two. We're catching the eight, though. I'm gonna go another two clicks. It may go way too tight, but there we go. Every 20. Looks like it was Chad this time. Dakota, or not Dakota, Sean stalled when he caught us. But he's much quicker. I have went to, I'm almost back to positive 10 now. Which is as tight as it'll go in this car. We were just starting to catch the 8 as well, which sucks, because I think he's going to be quicker on a short run than us. This also looks to be impossible to make a pass. Car 15, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. <laughs> We've now got 11 cars on the lead lap. I think Chad's out of the race. 15's 13 laps down.
but we're just gonna we're gonna stick with the weight jacker where it's at now see how that starts off because I was gaining pace on actually I'm just gonna go 10 All right, we're almost there we're at 9 so let's just go 10 try it see what happens just gotta get a better start than what I got last time I don't know how I was so slow to react last time. It's closed. Pit road is closed. But looks like Dakota's got this one wrapped up. Sean nearly got by him. They were side by side. And then he just couldn't get it done. And then he had his moment. Which I don't know if it was him getting loose or contact. But I think that was when he was with racing the two. A car looked like he was just falling back to us. But we're not going to have a whole lot of laps. One lap to green. 
too fucking tight. Fucking too tight, Jesus. Sean got loose. Dakota still got the lead. How have I gone so tight? Have I been hitting the wrong button? I know I was at 10. Much better, still suck at exit. Don't think we're gonna catch back up with, with him in time. Come on, Dakota. And that thing's getting really snappy on exit as well. It's putting so much fucking wheel in it. I need to cut down. Five, five, eight. All right, a couple clicks back, positive. Now that it's started to loosen up, I just need to stop trying to drive it through the exit. That felt good. That felt bad. Just a little too high. drag to try to bring it down. We are not catching at all. Oh, but he got big tight there. He can do that a few more times. We just needed more laps to get this eight car because we're gaining on him again. But we're gonna run out of laps unless he hits the wall. Two more, let's go. Twenty-two point six nine seven. backing it off right now so he doesn't overdrive it. Oh. And the two's in the wall. The two is really off pace. What is happening? Well, we get fourth. Good race. There's the flag. It's over. Crazy race, as always with this car. Things get weird quick. But great job to Dakota on the win. I think he led them all. Let's go uh, first look at our tires, 89-85. And uh, let's take a look at the wrecks. I went the total wrong way on that.
first off, 18. Hits, just uh, gets really loose over the hump out of the corner and over corrects. Blink. Blinking. 15 in the wall. And then turns down and gets red. Yeah, just overdriving. Blink. Lots of blinking. And then that was a weird one. Oh, Scott got the wall. And uh, nowhere for Max to go. And then really nowhere for Justin to go. He gets through it, though, and I don't think he got damage. He may have, though. And, yeah, they're broken. Their cars are not driving well. Chad... Sixteen up in the wall. Chad's got a check up, and John gets the wall, and then Chad goes around. And that was after the weird little uh, moment where we all got checked up. Let's see what happened with that. The two just decided to drive straight through Sean. Yeah. That worked out perfectly fine for the two, I guess. That's a bit bullshit. Really don't want people like that showing up on Sundays, but... You gotta know you can't bump draft a tank. A curved tank, but that sucks for Sean. And then we saw Chad's wreck. And then, Scott has a wreck under yellow. We'll just ignore that. Sean grabs a wall a bit, and that's where my oh crap moment came from. Luckily, we all survive. Max in the wall a bit. And then, still don't understand what happened with the two. Grab the wall. Yep, just grabbed the wall. But, uh, yeah, that sucks for Sean. Just someone not willing to lift off at all. And ruins his race. At least that's what it looks like from the info I've got. Let's take a look at the results. 25i rating, 18 safety rating. And then a lot of safety or er, i rating loss down here from the people that couldn't join. But, uh, yeah. There you have it. Another Silver Crown race in the books. We survive. Only a fourth place this time. But, yeah. Kind of hurt myself with that qualifying. And the car just was not high enough off, of, off the ground. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.